Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning and this is for the week of August 17th through August the 23rd. And before I jump into the kit that I'm going to be using, I have some quick updates for you guys. As many of you guys probably already know, I've been partnering with Planner Just For You to create stickers from my lettering and we have brand new releases going up today. The shop owner Sophie is also going to be offering a sale for Labor Day weekend, which is super exciting. This is the biggest sale she's had since we opened. So um, if you're interested in any of these lettering stickers, I definitely would take advantage of the discount. The sale code is gonna be Labor Day 2020 for 20% 20 off. And I wanted to really quickly show you guys what um, stickers will be coming to the shop. The first sheet here is the holidays and we really try to pack as many as we could in this little sheet. So it does come with, I believe like 20 different holidays, including President's Day, Happy Easter, Easter, um, Cinco de Mayo, Happy Juneteenth, we've got Thanksgiving, um, Veterans Day, etc. So quite a lot on this little page. And then the other one is the Happy Birthday Sheets. So these ones you can just pull in um, whenever you have like a birthday that you want to mark. Um, then we have also a series of cleaning stickers. So it starts with the cleaning day, then wash dishes. We've got vacuum floors, trash day, tidy up, um, let's see what else. Sweep floors, grocery run, and then laundry time. So these are kind of our chores slash errands series. And Sophie also resized a couple of the sidebar um, script stickers, the happy moments this week and dinners. They were quite large before, so I recommended her sizing them down just a little bit so that you can include an icon next to it. So I'm really excited to pull these into my own planner. And also Sophie is including some of her own releases as well. So she has these to do, today, and important headers and I think this font right here is actually her own writing, which is really exciting. And then she's also releasing a journaling icon. Um, as you can see, I think these are all hand-drawn by Sophie. And then this sheet here says therapy, which comes with three different fonts along with some therapy related stickers, which is super awesome uh, because I don't know that I see therapy related stickers very often. Um, so yeah, that is going to be all of our new releases for this weekend. I think there's also a couple kits too. So you'll see that on the website. And um, I just wanted to show you guys so you guys can take advantage of the sale while it's going on. Um, and yeah, so that's it for shop news. Now moving to today's spread, I'm going to be using this kit from Simple watercolor co it's in a light gold foil which is my favorite foil and I purposely chose this kit because Thursday was the first day of our new school year and I work in the elementary school setting um, so I thought this kit was super perfect it reminds me of my kiddos with all the rainbows and the stars and things like that it's just so fun and cute um, so here we have the full boxes and then on this page we have some deco pieces here layering icons some bow check flags a Monday through Sunday box a heart check and then a ton of other like boxes and flags, etc. And the last page here has the bottom washi, which is um, this rainbow pattern down here. We've got half boxes and quarter boxes and then some ombre headers here at the top. Um, this is her mini kit format. So as you can see, it doesn't come with very many stickers, but I'm definitely going to be pulling in a ton of stuff from my leftovers collection. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in and start by placing down the bottom washi. The washi that came in the kit this week was pretty thin and it was only one strip. And so I also pulled in the Simply Gilded Bow Washi and I just layered that right on top. While I'm doing that, if you guys have more suggestions for lettering stickers that you would like to see in my writing, um, please let me know because I definitely want to create things that will be functional for you guys and also are things that you enjoy. So just leave me a comment down below if you have any suggestions for the next releases. Now moving on to my sidebar, this kit did not come with a quote, so I decided to write one on my own. And I chose the quote, with brave wings she flies. And I chose that quote because this week is the start of the new school year. And I just felt like I needed a little bit of reminder for courage as we transition into this new unknown. Um, so I go ahead and place that down. I also used a blank full box from Planner Just For You underneath so that I didn't have to white out the text on the planner. And then I go ahead and place down a couple pieces of deco at the top. 
I then used a strip of Simply Gilded Washi to separate the full box from the rest of the sidebar. I used a habit tracker with a workout script sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to track my workouts. And then I cut up a larger header from the strip of washi that was included in the kit. And I decided to use a gold foiled bow checklist from White Deer Stationery to track all my happy moments. That rainbow sticker is from the kit and then for my dinners i decided to cut down a full box that i wasn't going to be using um, so i could create like another little header and i initially put down this checklist from the kit to mark my dinners but later i realized that there was a monday through sunday box so i switched it out um, the dinner script sticker is in my writing that's from planner just for you and then the gold foiled utensil sticker is from samantha may sticks I then move on to my date covers. This kit actually didn't come with any date covers, so I decided to pull in some days of the week script stickers, and these are from Hey Soul Sticker. Um, I also paired them with some date dots from Nikki Plus Three, I believe. Those were just some leftovers from my collection, and I thought this worked pretty well, even though I didn't have anything in the background. I still feel like it was really pretty and added some foiling to the spread. Then moving on to Monday, I first placed down a pattern header that came with the kit, and for this week I decided to pull in these really cute foiled star headers. Um, these are from Tagami Fox. The first thing I mark on Monday is that I worked from home. I decided to use a rainbow deco sticker and a work from home sticker in my writing from Planner Just For You. I then wanted to mark that I worked on emails and reports that day. Um, I used a layering icon from the kit along with a laptop sticker, which is from Right Brain Paper Co. And then I go ahead and place down a full box underneath. I realized that the rainbow in my sidebar is the same as the rainbow in that full box, and I didn't want those two graphics so close together since they are the same. So I switched out the rainbow in my sidebar for a sun sticker instead. I trimmed down the full box a little bit and the tool that I'm using is called the Slice Precision Cutter. I just purchased this off of Amazon for any of you who might be interested. And then underneath that, I used a flag sticker with a mailbox from, I believe that's from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I mailed my giveaway package that day. I then used a quarter box with a pillow sticker from Happy Sherpa Papery to mark that I took a nap afterwards when I got home. And then I decided to work from the bottom up. So I first placed down a foiled TV icon from Magic Prince Co. And then I wanted to mark a workout that I did. So I put that on a half box. That workout bunny sticker is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. I think she's so cute. And then the workout script is from Samantha May Sticks. At the very bottom, I marked that we started the TV show, I'm Sorry, which is on Netflix, and it's so good, it's so funny. I think one of my subscribers actually recommended it to me, so I just wanna say thank you so much for that. We have honestly been loving it, and um, it just cracks us up, it's so good. Um, then moving to Tuesday, I first started by placing down a full box at the bottom, then I used a header on top with a foiled header, again, that's from Tagami Fox. Moving to the top, I first placed down a Today header, then I used a quarter box with a foil work from home sticker that's from with love sticker co and underneath that i used a half box with a backpack sticker i believe that's from simply me kish and i just think it's so cute to mark going back to school i also added this little foiled bow on top of it and that's from chic chic designs underneath that i used a to-do header with a three bow checklist that's from chic blossom prints and i marked some things that i did that day um, i did work on a puzzle so i pulled in this puzzle sticker that's a new sticker in my collection and it's from a shop called olive planner co I then cut up another strip from the full box that I wasn't going to be using and I pulled in this rainbow deco sticker to mark that I did a Zoom costume party with a group of my friends that night. The theme was rainbow, which actually worked perfectly with this week's um, planner theme and that was purely coincidental, which I think just makes it that much better. Um, but anyways, that was it for Tuesday. So. For Wednesday, I first started by placing down a full box at the very top. Then I used a drink sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I grabbed some Starbucks that morning. I went into work on Wednesday and I marked my first meeting by cutting down a washi strip from the kit. And that pencil sticker is from Samantha May Sticks. I had a training after that, so I pulled in this laptop sticker, which is from Olive Planner Co. And I also added in a gold foiled bow from Chic Chic Designs, just to add a little more shine to that space. 
Underneath that, I used a foiled upload sticker from Randy.Plans along with a little circle icon from the kit and this adorable YouTube character sticker from Olive Planner Co. to mark that I uploaded a video that day. And then underneath that, I used a half box with this super hot munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that we were in the middle of a heat wave here in Southern California. It was so unbearably hot, so I just love that I got those munchkin stickers for the occasion. And underneath that, I placed down another header from the kit with a foiled header on top and um, I pulled in a rainbow sticker that's a deco from the kit with another TV from Magic Prince Co. to mark that we watched more of the show I'm sorry that night. Moving on to Thursday, I first started by placing down a to-do header, and then I pulled in this little box that came in the kit. It's super cute, and it has like a little bow paper clip in the corner. Um, I used that to mark work, and that work script sticker is from Planner Just For You. I didn't have a lot going on on Thursday, so I decided to mark that I didn't have any meetings. Um, I pulled in a rainbow deco sticker from the kit, and then I placed down some headers underneath that. This full box I used on Thursday is definitely my favorite one. I think it's so beautiful and there's some space in the middle. So I decided to use a utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks and marked where I picked up some lunch for takeout that day. Underneath that, I used a quarter box and a car sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I had to drop something off for work that afternoon. And then at the very bottom, I placed down a half box to block out that space. I did some filming after work, um, so to mark that, I used a foiled camera sticker from Planning Like a Pro, and on the half box, I wanted to mark going to um, grab boba with a couple of my friends that night just to hang out and catch up, and that boba sticker is from Olive Planner Co. On Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom. I decided to white out the gray header on top. It's honestly been such a challenge figuring out what to do with those gray headers in this recollections planner. I would definitely say that's the hardest part that I found working with this planner. Um, but generally I just use like a header or a box or something to cover it up. And I haven't really had to white out very often. Moving to the top, I first placed down some headers. That laptop sticker is from Magic Prince Co. And again, that work from home sticker is from Planner Just For You. Um, I got to work from home again on Friday, which is always nice. And I made some Dalgona coffee, which I marked using a coffee sticker from my spoiled planner. This is where I realized that the kit actually came with a Monday through Sunday box. So I replaced it in the sidebar so that I could use the heart checklist on Friday. Um, so moving back to Friday, I first placed down a today header and then I cut up the heart checklist into three hearts so that I could mark some meetings that I had at work that day. I then used a half box towards the bottom of the day and I trimmed down a bit of the full box just to have a little more space in between. I definitely like a lot of white space in my planning if you haven't noticed already. Um, then I placed down a foiled pencil sticker and that's from Hey Soul Sticker on that heart checklist. In the empty space, I used this little arrow sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark my dentist appointment. And then on the half box, I marked that I watched a bunch of Gilmore Girls that night. So I used this popcorn sticker from my spoiled planner. Moving on to Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the top. Um, then underneath that, I used, I think it's a half box and a sleeping mask sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I slept in that morning, which is super nice now that I'm waking up earlier again to go into work. Um, I then did some puzzling that morning. So again, I pulled in a puzzle sticker from Olive Planner Co. And that little bow deco is from Chic Chic Designs. I recorded a voiceover that afternoon. Um, so to mark that, I used a, a microphone sticker from Planning Like a Pro, and then I pulled in some headers and used a half box to mark that I did a pool day with some of my friends. It felt so good to be in the pool in this heat wave, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. That pool day sticker is from Lexi Kylie Designs. My boyfriend and I got some Thai takeout for dinner that night, so I decided to mark that using a um, flag sticker from the kit and a takeout box from Once More With Love. And at the end of the night, I just edited a video, so I used an edit sticker from Magic Prince Co. and a laptop from Right Brain Paper Co. Moving on to Sunday, um, I first started by placing down a today header at the very top. Then I used this really cute clipboard sticker that came in the kit along with a planner sticker from Olive Planner Co. to mark that I uploaded my collab plan with me with Tiff's Planet that morning. And then I placed down some functional stickers underneath that so I could figure out my spacing for Sunday. 
On the half box, I used a laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. and a YouTube binge sticker from Planner Just For You. That's in my writing. To mark that, I watched a few YouTube videos that morning, and then I did a huge Gilmore Girls binge, and I actually finished the original series, which was so good, but also just, you know, really bittersweet because I feel like I've been watching it for quite some time. Um, so I can't imagine like the people that had watched this show back in, you know, 2007, who had followed it for seven whole years and finally reached the end. It's so crazy that shows aren't like that anymore and we're just so used to like instant gratification and binging as much of it as we want. So anyways, it's just something interesting that I had realized while I watched Gilmore Girls and um, that popcorn sticker is from Olive Planner Co. Then underneath that, I made a checklist that today's script sticker is from Artbox Stickers and that shoe icon is from Planning Like a Pro. I added another bow deco from Chic Chic Designs on the popcorn sticker, and then I move back to my sidebar and fill out all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. This is actually my favorite part of doing these memory spreads because every time I fill in my happy moments, they honestly do bring me joy as I remember these moments. And so yeah, I definitely recommend tracking happy moments in your sidebar if you're looking for something new to include. Um, I'm now just showing you guys these stickers that I have left. This was a super mini kit, so I don't have much, which is good. And now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that is in this spread, which I think is so pretty. It complements these like really light pink colors so perfectly. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. Now I'm just doing a walkthrough so you guys can see more of those details up close. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the spread. I loved putting this together because I think it was a perfect combo of like elegant, but also really cute, which are kind of like my two planning modes. Um, so yeah, I just really, really enjoyed this and um, I hope you guys like it as well. Please let me know if you guys have any questions about where any stickers are from. And also if you guys have any suggestions for um, any new releases that you would like to see in my lettering. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that is pretty much it for this week. I really hope you guys are all doing well and taking care of yourselves and also your families and loved ones. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.